Damn it. They captured us and this... Uh, you're going down, Nora. If I don't go down first... Oh, you're awake. I was starting to worry. I'm going to strangle Anora when we get out of here. Do you mind if I pin her down while you do? Or perhaps kick her? The others are coming, don't worry. Who do you think will come? I'm sure Liliana will come for us. Oh, I wish I could see that. One person assaulting Fort Draken all alone. Well, Wynn will probably come too. I hope you're right. And here they are, dressed as Chantry members. Hm. Yelena certainly has experience in that. State your business. We have come to perform last rites for a condemned prisoner. What for? Mother Augustine is already here. Hm. Handle it, Yelena. Let us pray, sister. Do not judge these poor, benighted souls harshly for questioning the word of your revered mother, Andraste's mouthpiece here in Ferelden. Though they cannot find it in their hearts to show compassion to wretched prisoners, do not sentence them to an eternity walking the fate alone, preyed upon by spirits and demons. All right, all right, wait over there. I'll get the captain to let you in. Make us breath. Not to worry. I can handle the captain. Just don't get carried away, Leliana. Carried away? Me? You. You're clearly enjoying all this. Aren't you? It's so much fun. All right. What's this about? We have been sent to minister the chant for the prisoners here. How many priests does it take to pray for a handful of wretched criminals? Fine. I'm not one to argue with the Chantry. Oh, I wasn't expecting. Did Boam send you? I already told her I'm old, not dead. I can handle the work here perfectly well. I... I'm sorry. I've served the Chantry longer than she has. And what do I get? Wouldn't you like to retire, Mother Augustine? Retire? I have not spent 30 years ministering to the condemned to spend my days gardening and tatting lace, I'll tell you that! Preposterous idea! I had no idea we were being sent here to slight you. That's unconscionable. It's an offence against the Maker is what it is. And it's about time I did something about it. Be good enough to mind the chapel for me, would you, dear? I'm going to give that woman a piece of my mind. State your business. You're the officer on duty, aren't you? I am. Is it difficult? I can't imagine being responsible for the lives of an entire fortress full of people. What do you mean? Everyone depending on you all the time? It doesn't keep you up at night? You don't think to yourself, what if I slip up? What happens then? No. And not just in the fort. The whole city of Denerim relies on you. Thousands of people. I hadn't really thought of it that way. I just can't imagine. You know, I... Maker, I think I'm going to be sick. That was an interesting approach. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think we'll be able to talk our way past anyone back here.
Maker's breath. It's good to see you in one piece, my friend. Indeed. After your rather alarming lack of subtlety, I feared the worst for you. I prayed for your safe return. That's so sweet, it almost makes me want to kill you less. Well, what did you expect me to do? You announced me to my father's most trusted lackey. Did the purpose of my disguise entirely escape you? I barely managed to slip away from her when we reached the palace. I am hoping that, despite our unfortunate beginning, we can still work together. Will you hear me out? No, I promise nothing. We will need to work together, and quickly. My father has gone mad. I didn't believe it at first, but he is gripped by a paranoia so severe it prevents him from seeing sense. He saw me as a threat, yet even now I'm certain he will be telling the nobles you are dangerous murderers that have kidnapped and mind-controlled me. He may even believe it. So we rescued you. To what end? You will need ammunition come the lands meet, and I can help you in that regard. You have only just arrived in the city, so perhaps you are unaware of some recent events. Denerim has been in turmoil since Ostagar. Many people here are angry or grieving. Strangely, the unrest is worst in the alienage. Few elves accompanied the army. They should have little reason to be upset which means that Howe and my father must have given them reason. I don't know what is happening there, but I am certain my father has his hands in it. A useful lead, Anora, but you could have sent this information with your maid. That is true. I feared for my safety as Howe's prisoner. But to tell the truth, I sent Elena to you because I hoped we might join forces. You need that evidence for the lands meet, but you also need a stronger candidate for the throne. You need me. It sounds more like you need us. I have no doubt Alistair is biddable enough, and decent, but even with his blood, he is no king. You think only I can see it? Not only that, Alistair is a Grey Warden. It will look like you are trying to put a Grey Warden on the throne, despite your claims. I am a neutral party, and I am already queen. Anora, you are indeed Caelan's widow, but... I am the daughter of Ferelden's greatest general. Who do you think truly ruled this nation for the last five years? Caelan. I am what this country needs, not an untrained king who does not even want the throne. I can help you stop my father. Consider what I have said. For now, I think I will retire to my room. Warden, when you have a moment, I ask that you speak to me in private. Hmm, everyone wants this wrong. Well, she's quite spirited. I remember when Loghain first brought her to Denneran. Poor Galen was a good boy, but Honora was always two steps ahead. Had him jumping when she snapped since the first time she batted her eyelashes. I cannot help thinking she may be trouble, but we should keep her close all the same. Why do you think she's trouble? This is an alliance of convenience. For the moment, we are united against Loghain. Be careful how much trust you place in her. I do not for a moment think Honora means to give up her power easily. Still, I would rather have her where we can watch her than actively working for Loghain. And she's single now, right? Are you thinking you might stand a chance at courtship? It would be unseemly for her to marry so soon after Caelan's death. She wouldn't take that risk unless it helps her secure the throne. I was thinking of Alistair, perhaps. <laughs> um, yeah. Are you serious? Oh, Alistair's here. <laughs> no, never mind. I, I, I don't even want to hear the rest of this. You, you two just keep talking about me. I'm going to stand over here with my fingers in my ears. That would certainly solve a lot of problems and put forth the strongest argument before the lands meet to remove Loghain from power. With Theron blood on the throne and Honora's wisdom and popularity, Ferelden could present the most united front against the Blight. Unfortunately, the marriage would never happen. 
unless they both agree to it. And I suspect that might take a lot of persuading to get past her pride and his humility. Why is it so important to put Marek's son on the throne, anyway? Ferelden was first united by Kalanhad, the Silver Knight. For 400 years, his descendants have ruled Ferelden. That was the heritage we preserved from the Orlesians. And it is the heritage I will fight for as long as one of Kalanhad's descendants still lives. Without that to unite us, we could scatter back to warring Turniers. Let's talk about something else. We certainly have a great deal to plan. What do you think he's doing at the alienage? Maker knows what that man is capable of now. Of course, if I might make a suggestion, go speak with Anora. She will either be a powerful ally or a powerful enemy, and the sooner we know which she is, the better. Hello again, friend. It looks as though you're no worse for wear after your stay in Fort Draken. Did you know Duncan very well? We went through our joining together, more years ago than I like to remember. He was exactly the same back then, tough as stone and just as grizzled. I think he understood sooner than the rest of us how ugly a choice it is to let the few be sacrificed to protect the many. Always left himself a soft spot for his recruits, though. Only way he ever let himself down. I was hoping I could learn a bit more about the Grey Wardens. Well, I'd be happy to tell you what I know, but it seems to me that you've picked the important parts up yourself. Be firm in your beliefs, protect people from their own ignorance, and be as loyal as you can to your brothers, even knowing you'll share their deaths. How were the Wardens founded? It was near 1200 years ago, and no one knows for sure, except that it began with a group of Anders soldiers. Apparently, they defected from their king's army, vowing that fighting the Blight was more important, and traveled all the way to Tevinta themselves. They were the first ones to track down the archdemon Dumat, and the ones to slay him, though none survived the battle. But they had picked up followers by then, and it was they who formally founded the Order, and were recognized by Thedas. Why has it been so long since the last Blight? Archdemons don't awaken on their own, you know. It takes the Darkspawn, tunneling and tunneling, searching for centuries to find one. And with no one to lead them, it must be sheer chance, or maybe instinct, which leads them. What's surprising isn't that it takes so long between Blights. What's surprising is that they succeed at all. But I imagine the old gods call to them. And it's that voice in the darkness which drives them through so many generations. How many Wardens are there? It's tough to say. Only the fortress in Weishaupt has every record. But there are certainly a few dozen or hundreds in every nation in Thetis. The Anderfells are home to over a thousand. It's almost like the Archdemon chose Ferelden deliberately, knowing how unguarded it is. Have you ever been to the fortress in Weishaupt? Once only, and I'd rather not go again. It's far, lad. And very foreign. The Wardens there, they fight Darkspawn like you and me but they're shaped by the winters there in the forest. They're a cold group and don't care like they should about the rest of the world. Their king is weak, and many Anders look to the Wardens to rule. I hate to say this, but some of them seem to want it that way. I guess that's all for now. The important thing to remember is, none of that matters. When you're facing Darkspawn, all you need to know is to stop them at all costs. Hello again, friend. It looks as though you're no worse for wear after your stay in Fort Draken. Could you tell me about that vault again? It's located just off the market district in the northern alley past the Nord Noble Tavern. I'll sketch out the code which will let you pass the lock wheel. Inside you can take your pick of whatever equipment remains. 
It is the stockpile the Wardens have kept for centuries for the defense of Denerim. What are your plans now? When I'm well enough, I'm going to continue my journey toward Ostagar. Hopefully I'll be able to trace the heart of the Blight and where the Archdemon itself abides. If we want to defeat this Archdemon, we need to know where it is and how soon it might strike. You're going alone? Shouldn't I go with you? If there were more of us, I would agree. But as it is, I don't think we can deprive all the armies you've gathered of a commander. Hello again, Warden. It is good that you came to speak with me. I realize that my... actions at Howe's estate may not have painted me in the best light. For that, I apologize and hope that we can start again. First, let me say that I knew your family. Eleanor, in particular, was dear to me. And what Howe did was unforgivable. How fitting he died at your hands. I will be blunt. I can see that your voice will be a strong one in days to come. It is to you that Eamon listens, and with good reason. My father must be stopped. But once that is done, Ferelden will need a ruler. I would welcome your support for my throne. You think you're a better candidate than Alistair? Do you disagree? You are a fellow Grey Warden. What do you think of Alistair's potential to rule? Never mind his willingness. Being a good ruler requires more than ambition. Alistair seems like a kind, well-meaning man, and biddable enough. These are admirable qualities, if not kingly ones. He also seems to be a fine Grey Warden, which is exactly why he should remain one and serve the kingdom by defeating the Darkspawn. Just how do you know so much about him? Caelan knew of Alistair. It was Arl Eamon that kept Alistair out of the courts, as Merrick had desired. Oh, there are some who would follow Alistair out of respect for his Therian blood, the others would see this as Eamon grabbing for power. Who else do you think Alistair would turn to for help? Eventually the nobility would return to the old days of constant warring with each other. Alistair's weakness would destroy everything Merrick built. And what's your alternative? I have ruled this nation on Caelan's behalf for many years. I am a great queen and as beloved by my people as I love them. Ferelden needs an effective ruler with experience to see it through the blight and after. That is not Alistair. Thus I say again, I would welcome your support for the throne if you would give it. Are you proposing an alliance? That is exactly what I am proposing. When the time comes, you support my bid in the lands meet to remain on the throne. You will be seen as my father's enemy. Yet you will be in support of his daughter. You will be seen as supporting the interests of Ferelden, as opposed to solely those of the Grey Wardens. In return, I add my voice to yours. Do you see? Together we can do what alone we cannot. What happens to Logan if you're a queen? He is my father, as well as a great general who has served his nation well until now. If there is a way for him to live, I would prefer it. Justice must be done, don't you think? I will always be my father's daughter, but even I know he must pay for his crimes. It will not make me glad, even so. Does that affect your decision? Can we yet come to an arrangement? Why not simply marry Alistair? The best of both worlds? Ignoring that the man looks so much like Caelan, my recently dead husband if you'll recall, my main fear is that he might govern like Caelan as well. But it is true that Alistair has Theron blood, 
To some, this is more important even than practical considerations. A union might be considered a compromise, but is this something Alistair even desires? I think I could convince him. Let me say this. If Alistair is willing to stand back and allow me to continue governing the nation, then I would be willing to have him as my king. It is my understanding that governing does not appeal to him anyhow. If that is so, this is a compromise I can live with. Why would he agree to those terms? Do you foresee me agreeing to place an untried, unwilling man on the throne otherwise? One whose largest decisions to date have consisted of which shoe to put on first? If it will settle matters more quickly, I am willing to agree to this. But only if it will benefit Ferelden. I will speak to him then. Do so. I will be interested to hear what he has to say. I believe there is an option for me to become king as well and marry Anora. So I'm guessing someone told Anora I was planning to steal her throne. She has a nasty glare. Did anyone mention this wasn't my idea? I think she's a great queen. As far as I'm concerned, she's welcome to it. You still don't want to be king? I'm not a political man. I like being a warden. There's real evil out there, and it's something we can fight. It's something we can defeat. Making laws, settling disputes, that's not me. I wouldn't have the first idea how to do it. What do you think I should do? Go ahead and be king? Just let it happen? I think you should marry Anora. Marry her? As in marriage? As in be her husband? You've spoken to her about this? You did, didn't you? Why would you do that? Did you take a blow to the head? That's crazy! I think this is the best compromise for peace. <sighs> yes, yes, I suppose you're right. The Landsmeet will probably see that too. Go ahead then. Tell her I'll do it if it comes to that. Now, excuse me while I go have a small heart attack somewhere. No big deal, right? You agreed so easily. Well, have you spoken to my lucky betrothed yet? <laughs> or will we be reduced to passing notes? He's agreed to your terms. He has? I wasn't expecting that, to tell you the truth. To marry Kaelin's brother. Well, I suppose stranger things have happened. If it will truly help matters... Is this it then? I agree to marry Alistair, to retain my throne, and in exchange I give you my support. If not, then tell me now. Marry Alistair, and you have my support. Done. So, we have a deal, Warden. I trust you'll keep your end of the bargain. Now, I suppose, comes the task of dealing with my father. That will be no small feat, of course, but I am certain you already know this. I imagine you have much to do. Is there anything else you needed from me? Do you need anything? I... No. And while I know your concern is hardly disinterested, still, thank you.